Okay, hello, this is Victor Momo, and in this video, I want to show how to use text to columns when the delimiter is a line feed character. So, what do I mean by line feed character? Essentially, we are used to having single line cells in Excel, but sometimes you have multiple line cells, you know, like this single line, just one line. Here you have four lines, and they are not in four different cells, they are all in one cell. When you want to create this most times, we use the shortcut Alt-Enter to do that. So I can start with Sunday, I press Alt-Enter, Monday, I press Alt-Enter, Tuesday. Okay? What you notice is that any time you do this, Excel automatically changes the cells formatting to be wrapped the wrap text automatically comes up you could try it somewhere else you can see now i don't have the wrap text let me just do one and press alt enter and do two you see it's automatically wrapped so what we're just trying to do here is how do i split a cell like this into you know multiple cells using that line feed character um just a little background you know for well, maybe Apple back in the days, IBM, Windows, they have their standard character set. You can check online and look for something like CP or Windows 1252, code page 1252. You kind of see, you know, as in these characters and a little about them. But one thing you realize is that if you check, like, you know, the ASCII definitions for its characters, and I downloaded this from uh, Wikipedia, you will see that there is a line feed character here. It's a line feed character which, based on its character position, is in the tenth position, right? Okay, and here the caret and the J means that typically the shortcut that is used for this is Control J. That used to be the shortcut back from, you know, the IBM days. So that's really where the trick kind of lies in using text to columns. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go with the character function, that's char function which can return, you know, whatever character, depending on, you know, the position it is, whatever you give you, say character 10. What this gives you is actually the line feed character. You can copy, paste as values, and then, you know, put the cell in edit mode. You will see what that character is. So we know that the character that is the delimiter here is character 10. The problem we now have is, okay, fine. Since I know that, how can I use that in text to column? So I'll do this in like three ways, maybe, in text to column. So I'm going to select my data set, right? This is what I want to split into what you can see here. So maybe I just delete this first of all. So I select... I do text to columns. I can do Alt, A, E. That will give me text to columns. I could do Alt, D, E. The old from 2003 shortcut. Or I could go to the data tab and then just do text to columns, whichever one works for me. Then I select delimited here because I know I have a particular character that separates, you know, the different elements I want to split into. I do next. Now I don't see the character I want here because it's not a space, it's not a comma, it's not a semicolon. So I choose order. Question is, what do I now type into order? So if you remember what you just saw in that ASCII snapshot I took, you would see that Control J can give you the line feed character. So what I can do here is just to press Control J. And when you do Control J, do you see what happens? automatically you have you know it's delimited based on the line feed character you can do next and here i can select my destination as this and i do finish okay there's some data there somewhere i can't see and i'm fine right so let's repeat that now this time not using Control j so we go back to text to columns let's see one other way we can do it let me delete this here. So I know that Control J line feed character is character 10. So if you want to bring out any of those characters, typically once you know the number, then you can then use Alt and your numeric keypad, you know, to pretty much bring that character up here.
So what I mean numeric keypad is not your regular numbers, but you know the, the keypad to the right of your keyboard. So you hold the alt and you press, you know, uh, more or less the character code for whatever you want, and it pulls it up. So in the um, ASCII definitions here, it uses more or less like a 0000, right? So if I'm looking for number 10, it's going to be 0010. If I'm looking for number 95, it's going to be 0095. So what I'm going to do now, so I hold my alt, and on my numeric keypad, I do 0010, right? And you see that it does exactly the same thing. And I can do next. I can select here and I can finish up. Okay. So if you know um, where a character can be found, you know, in the ASCII character set, you can use that combination to, to pull it up. Like, for example, I know the underscore is character 95. So I can press Alt. I'm holding my Alt now, even though you can't see it. And I do 0095. You see what it does? It puts, you know, the underscore character there. So once you know some of these tricks, it becomes very easy. I know, yes, I could do this with a lot of formulas, right? And people have done so many interesting things. But it's just one of those tricks, you know, that can help um you know you get some things done very efficiently so i even have a larger data set here which has about um you know maybe 100 rows uh, of course someone will say oh, okay i could use flash fill but it means if you have um like 20 rows in each one you have to pretty much for each column you want to split it into give um excel you know an idea of what the first you know element is and based on that it will then fill up the rest but that's Will take some time. Of course, Power Query is the panacea for all problems when it comes to you know um, transformation of data. So that would obviously kill this very easily. But this is just to show you something else that you probably didn't know. So let's repeat the same thing here. Alt A E. We do next. Of course, because we used um, the um, line feed character previously, it already has it. So you can see that with the line feed character, I have what I want already. I do next. And I move this here, for example, and finish. Okay, so let me take this out, Control minus, so you can see. You see everything is where it should be. This is just data can change the formatting. Okay, so like I've always said, if you can think it, Excel can probably do it. If you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to the channel Excel Moments, and you can also hit the like button. It never hurts to do so. Right. Have a good one.